it was this blog where he say rappers or people who rap should show a more softer side of them, show a more human side so people can understand they're human beings, they're not animals or everything that they rapping about, they're not actively doing every day or actively doing. You know what I'm saying? It's just a story that of experiences and that don't even matter. Bottom line is he want he the blogger said people should show a more human side of them. And I felt, you know what, there's, there's a need to do that because, you know, I work two jobs. I talk about it in my music. I'm a nine to five nigga. You know what I'm saying? But most motherfuckers like, whatever. But in my two jobs, it's two fun jobs. Like one of the jobs, I come clean up a restaurant. I choose my hours. I choose my time. I choose how long I want to fucking put in effort. You get what I'm saying? And the money. That's entrepreneurship. The other shit is my nine to five. The bottom line, I say that is as I'm cleaning up tonight, I came early. And these crackers ain't never seen no nigga cleaning. They used to Chico's and all that. You feel me? They ain't used to seeing no black entrepreneur. So they probably gonna call the police bitch and come rush up their bitch three deep. Mind y'all used to be here late night, which is probably, I would think, more dangerous. But the police probably ain't never been alert. I don't know. But fact is, I'm here when it's active open hours for other businesses and motherfuckers is a shock. So these bitches rushed up this bitch like they finna jam me up. Cause and I said to myself, making all this there's a music. I want any black person that ever hit me rock, anybody ever heard me rock, but particularly black, especially if you're a street nigga. A street nigga ain't never been my op. If a street nigga hate me, that's his, his internal problem of him hating himself. Street nigga never been my op. It's been a motherfuckers that don't want to see a nigga get money. The, particularly the crackers that don't want to see a nigga get money. It's niggas that don't want to see a nigga get money. They still not even a problem because they can't stop you. They can kill you, but they can't stop you. A bitch that can stop you without touching you is a fucking cracker like the bitches came up deep and then they play like they were going to another scene. They kept doubling back, circling, driving back slow like, let's check this nigga out. Yeah, he looked like he cleaning because, bitch, I got the cold and everything, bitch. You feel me? Fuck I look like, cause you feel me? fuck I look like, you feel me? And I do a great job too, bitch. First of all, niggas can't even get that kind of um, access to have businesses, get keys and codes and shit, you feel me? So you want to understand a little bit of being a boss? Bitch, this is a baby boss. I'm a baby boss, nigga. My own employee, make my own hours. I do it all. Landscaping, pressure washing, uh, 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 insulation, fucking, I deliver shit. Bitch, I could do loan on interstate. Whatever we talking about, cause I get money. Twit card, nigga. All that work, though. Look at these dirty-ass hands. Look at these calluses on these hands. Yeah, so I can rap about whatever I want. I earn the right to rap about whatever I want. Look at these filthy-ass fucking hands, cause I earned that right. 